Hello everyone, my name is Dominique. I am a full-time working mama to a um, husband and two kids, a 10-year-old and a eight-year-old, as well as a dog and a bunny. And we do our groceries every two weeks. So this week, every two weeks, we give ourselves a grocery budget of about $300 to spend. So before this, before I actually did my cash dumping and went grocery shopping, we ended up spending about $50 at the grocery store on some like pop slash soda um, some, and some stuff because I had a turkey in my freezer. So I made Thanksgiving in the summer. So I needed like a roasting pan. I needed uh, turkey bags. I grabbed some gravy, even though I didn't really end up using it, some rolls, just things like that to complete our Thanksgiving dinner um, that we had at home. Um, and so this is the rest of it. And plus at the end, I do have some school supplies for you. My kids are year round school goers. So they get out of school this week and they go back to school next week in their new grades. So very exciting. I'll have a fifth and a third grader. And so i um, very excited about that. So, so on our meal plan, I just have a little sheet right here. We have tacos, spaghetti, burgers, brats, chicken with rice and veggies. Uh, we usually go out on Tuesdays. Um, then you'll have an on your own day, which will probably be like a Friday, Saturday type of thing. Or maybe sometime during the week. Fish with rice and vegetables. Pork katsu, also with rice and vegetables. Chicken strips and mac and cheese, easy thing, you know, like. Uh, we have the bare chicken strips, so to go ahead and use those. Um, to make my own chicken strips with some um, chicken rice and then uh, chicken tiki masala with rice. So as you can see, we eat a lot of rice in our house. So <laughs> everyone loves it and something to eat. It's better. I feel like it better for our gut health maybe than pasta. I'm not sure, but I know like if you're dealing with gluten issues, you can usually have rice and not pasta. So working on that so overall i spent about 155 dollars on groceries overall i spent more than that because i did buy um school supplies so i spent about like 70 dollars on school supplies at sam's club about 70 dollars on amazon for a new backpack for my son and then about 30 dollars at sam's club so first we'll do our Sam's Club haul. So I needed to restock on some light brown sugar as well as some powdered sugar. I am pretty much out of both of those. And so I love to always have them on hand. Um, I did just, for my birthday, I asked for a canner. So I want to start canning. And um, I did see that canning, like dry canning like brown sugar might be a good thing to do. So please let me know in the comments if you've done that before. So that way we can keep this seven pounds of brown sugar good and it'll last me quite a while. Just ignore these are just some vitamin C. Uh, I did not buy those at Sam's. Uh, for some produce, most of my produce came from Sam's today. I got carrots, broccoli, a cantaloupe. I got some raspberries, green grapes, two bunches of bananas and the mini cucumbers. My kids, or my son loves these. And then since we're doing chicken tiki masala, I got the non-bites, but my daughter loves to just throw these in the microwave, heat them up, and eat them as is. So those are always something good to have on hand. For snacks, if you watch my shows before, my channel before, um, every month I buy one of these for my son, and now my daughter started eating them too. And once they're gone, they're gone. So they get one box a month of goldfish, one of his favorite snacks. So we're gonna go ahead and replenish that for him the beginning of July. And that will be his goldfish for the month. Um, I also bought some Smart Food popcorn. I just like to uh, switch it up. They like this white cheddar. And then they just started carrying these freeze-dried strawberries at Sam's Club. So it's a three ounce for about like $7, which is pretty good because I usually buy them from Aldi. And they're about three bucks a bag for per ounce. So this is a pretty good deal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try these. And it is this bag is... Stuffed. So there's like hardly any air, um, like empty space in there. So um, that's exciting. Um, the craisins were on rollback, not rollback, sorry, instant savings. I think they're at five dollars. I don't have a plan for these right now, but in the fall, um, I make white chocolate cranberry oat milk cookies for my family, and they absolutely love them. Uh, I usually freeze a bunch for them of the dough to put so they can have whatever they want. 
And my grandma's birthday is coming up next month and she loves those cookies and she has been asking me to make some for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these to make that for her for her birthday. Um, okay, and so that is all I got for Sam's except for I did get a couple things from for school supplies. Oh wait, sorry, I also got a case of water, just the Sam's water bottles, as well as a case of baby wipes. We don't have a need for baby wipes, but the school did request baby wipes. Um, as like an extra school supply if you could supply them so we went ahead and I bought a big box from there to go ahead and get them started sorry okay so next we have Walmart so uh these are oh, a staple in my house my son loves these it's the only way I can get this kid to eat carrots I don't know how many actual real carrots are in there and it has carrot puree apple puree raspberry puree puree I want to try and make these once I start canning um and see if I can make this like apple carrot, apple carrot mixed berry sauce and just can that up for him and see if we could do that because I think that would be great. Uh, we recently got a big box of these Z-Bars. My sister's kids didn't want them and the kids ate all the iced oatmeal and left the rest. So we decided we want to try the iced oatmeal. So we got that one. These are just some easy sides. My kids just recently decided they like these. Um, they love anything with like angel hair and they like parmesan cheese on their noodles so um we made this the other day and they liked it so i just got two to put away for that um for the dinner we do chicken and chicken rice i got one of these uh, my daughter calls it yellow rice she really likes that so i went ahead and got her one of those i got some strawberries because i was able to get strawberries from sam's club on my order lettuce for tacos and i guess whoever else we want them i did get this veggie dip to go ahead because i love to eat raw broccoli so from that big bag of broccoli we got in there plus like the carrots or the cucumbers we can go ahead and have some ranch dip my kids don't like any type of dip so this is pretty much just for me and my husband um since they were little they don't like ketchup ranch anything like that so maybe i can get them to try it i don't know but they usually don't like to even attempt to dip um, I did get one of these to try. My husband has been in a chili dog um, era, I guess. I don't know what do you call it. He likes to make them. And he just uses like the Hormel chili. So I thought I would try this chili dog sauce to see if he likes it. The only freezer thing I got is just some waffles to put in the freezer because we're all out. I usually take them out of the box and I put them in my grocery bags because it takes up less space. These have become a staple every two weeks. <laughs> Just like before, once they're gone, they're gone. So we have the Cosmic Brownies, oatmeal cream pies, and Twinkies. These are my son's favorite, my husband's favorite, my daughter's favorite. Um, but sometimes they will eat whatever else they want. And then the last grocery item is going to be two regular cucumbers because I have a recipe for a peanut noodle salad that I wanna go ahead and make. So in this haul, you don't see a lot of meat, not necessarily even a lot of dinner items. It's usually snacks and um, produce that I buy a lot or stocking up on like the sugar. And that is because we have a freezer full of meat in our freezer. Like last, last time I went grocery shopping, I bought a big pork loin. So that will feed us six meals. I have probably about like, I don't know, 15, 20 meals worth of chicken in my freezer. We have hamburgers, hot dogs in the freezer, brats in the freezer, um, not a ton of steak, but we do have ground beef. So I have a lot of meat in my freezer and I try to make up my meals based off that. And for like the hamburgers and hot dogs, I have buns in my freezer already to go ahead with that. I have french fries, you know, sides like that. Lots of rice stored, flour stored to make things I need and chocolate chips for baking needs and stuff like that. So this is pretty much just filling in for what we need, which actually came in nice and handy because I ended up needing that extra $100. I only spent $200 for my grocery budget this two weeks so far, and ended up using some of that to go ahead and get a new phone line on our phones. Um, so that way our kids have something uh, for when they're away from us. So it's not like their phone they get all the time, but just like if they're on a field trip or if they go to a friend's house or anything like that, it's a way for us to keep contact with them. Um, so they have it. So it's just, we ended up just getting like an um, extra line and my husband ended up upgrading his phone and we're giving him his old phone 
And so we had to pay like the tax on that phone. So um, I still do have about like $35 left over for any time we, if we need any type of fresh produce. And if we don't, and if we didn't forget anything, I'll probably use that the next time to do a little bit of stocking up because I am in need of some flour as well as some rice. And my stocks are getting low. So um, I need to go ahead and do that. And now we'll go ahead and quickly do our back to school haul. Like I said, I have a fifth grader and a third grader. So uh, one of my kids needed a whiteboard and dry erase markers. Well, they both need dry erase markers. And I found these clickable ones, which I thought would be really fun for them. So I went ahead and got that. You know, normal stuff, crayons, highlighters, red pens for, uh, you know, marking your papers wrong erasers, colored pencils. I did get the Ticonderoga pencils from Sam's Club. It was like 11, $12 for 96 pencils. So the teachers have also requested extra pencils. So I know whatever I don't sell with my kids, I can go ahead and send to the classrooms because they'll get you set up. Um, tissues were re requested. Copy paper was requested. I did get two of these. So I'm not sure where the other one is. It's probably in the car. Um, so they also requested copy paper. Um, my son needed a binder. They requested, one of the teachers requested dry erase markers. So we went ahead and got them a big thing of that. And then this is various composition notebooks, um, spiral notebooks, graph notebooks, um, extra graph paper was requested by the teachers. Extra line paper was requested by the teachers. I went ahead and got the reinforced paper because I know they're kids. They're going to be crazy with them. Um, some plastic, two prong binders, and a ruler that's what it's called and uh, so that's what we got so the only thing I have that's coming in the mail that they didn't have in was some what is it glue sticks they didn't have glue sticks in the store I guess so they're sending me some glue sticks and maybe a couple of reams of paper is what they are sending me um they're shipping to me because I didn't have them and then like I said the only other thing we're missing is a brand new backpack a uh, Jansport backpack for my son uh, my daughter got one from Pottery Barn last year, so hers is still good for a couple years. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I appreciate all your views. If you could please go ahead, like, and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment so that I can get to know you. That'd be great. Or if you have any questions or any ideas for ways I can use some of this stuff, or if you've done any canning before, since it's something that I'm going to be new to, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye.